Hi, in this video I want to talk about the mind being very similar to the radio. The mind is very similar to a radio in that it's constantly talking. It's constantly giving comments, judgments, assumptions, questions, answers. It's constantly going in and producing thoughts. And the, the radio is very similar. You can flick on the radio at any time and you'll find that something's playing. There's always some type of radio station happening. I like to start this conversation with my clients in, in asking them, when does the mind stop? And I'll, I'll personally ask them directly, I'll say, well, you know, when have you stopped thinking? When have you stopped having thoughts? And in, on some consideration, they, they often say, oh, when I'm sleeping. And when we look at that even a little bit, we, we, we generally find out that, hey, we're also having dreams while we're sleeping. So there are even times when, when we are consciously aware uh, that, that we can hear, uh, see, uh, feel and so on, all of those, those thoughts and images and so on in, in our dreams. Generally, we do get respite from thoughts while we're sleeping, but in our waking life, the mind just does not stop. It just keeps going and going and going. So the mind is very similar to the radio. The radio is constantly playing. It's got different stations. Uh, we find that there are different segments on each in each uh, station and, and, and so on. And so what, what we find in you know, when working with clients and looking at diffusion, we can go out and liken the two together. So we have the mind in one hand and we have the radio in the other. Why I think this is quite useful is we have the radio and we've got these stations, we've got these uh, ruminating thoughts or these ideas that come up for us. They, these are those themes that, that show up in, in, in our lives. And what, what's useful to, to look at is there are usually you know, five to, to nine themes that are going around and around and around. And if we, if we explore what, what's happening for our clients, that's generally why they've come to see us, that there's a radio station that, that's playing. And so some common radio stations that might come up is 102.9. I'm not good enough. Right? It's the most common one, I'm not good enough, but we want to turn it into a radio station because we've all certainly got it. And I know that I've heard it myself. I know that all of my clients have, have said it. I, I actually haven't heard uh, too many clients, probably a handful, um, uh, that, that don't have that one, but it's the most common one that I certainly experience. So there's that radio station. And there's lots of different radio stations that, that, that show up. And what we try and do is, is to package them up as a station because it keeps talking rather than talking as I am actually not good enough. Um, that, when we fuse with it, can be very destructive and very powerful and push us around a fair bit. A radio station which plays uh, in my life is not going to be as impactful. There are other thoughts uh, that, that show up and we can bring them into a radio station because there's lots of thoughts about I'm a fraud as an example. So this is 84.7 fraud and it says, good morning, today when you go into work, your boss is going to figure out that you're actually not doing very much work at all and that what you said in your interview was actually a pack of lies. And so that's how you wake up. And it, and it feels quite daunting that, that that's what's going to happen, that there's this fraud, uh, that there's a stream of, of uh, commentary that you're a fraud. And it continues on there and it says, hey, you know, this, this piece of uh, this project that you're about to submit is going to be found out and that people are going to judge that and you will be put on the spot in the meeting and that Jessica over here who's tried to help, she's going to notice that your writing style is poor and so on and so forth. And so there's 84.7 fraud becomes this really strong theme in, in, in one's life and we want to be able to break that down. We don't want to have to have all of the thoughts and, and try and diffuse from all every individual thought, but we can diffuse by seeing it as, a, as a, uh, an entire category. It's the fraud station, um, very useful in, in that sense. There's other ones like uh, 106.7, uh, life's not fair. 
So we've got life's not fair, 106.7, and what, what occurs is that this person will tend to walk around and start seeing injustices. They'll see injustices in the world, injustices towards themselves, injustices towards others, and, and life's not fair and it's difficult and it's, it's, it, it's hard and so on. All of these different thoughts would, would fall into the uh, life's not fair. And so it's very interesting to, to, to break this up because we can actually start to refer to these in session, uh, we, can, we can ask, you know, what's the radio station that you're having right now? What are you experiencing right now? What, 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 what's the station that you're listening to that you're hearing at the present moment? Or when you're in that, in that situation, what uh, radio station was on? When you think about doing X, what radio station shows up? Because they will be triggered and they will, will, they will turn on at times as well. We have uh, 79.3, I can't cope. What's interesting, it's not I can't cope in, in just uh, one scenario. It's I can't cope as a mother. I can't cope as a father. I can't cope in this world. I can't cope with all the stresses. I can't cope in, the, in my parenting. I can't cope in this relationship. I can't cope with these feelings and so on and so on. So you can see there's, there's, there's hundreds, there's thousands of, of these specific thoughts that make up a one radio station. So it's much easier to deal with a radio station. And over here, the final one is 94.1. What is it? What is it that, that you are experiencing? What is it that your clients are holding? What What's that station? What's that theme that keeps coming up it's very important that we that we go out and, and start pulling pulling this apart it's easier to go out and manage uh, say five to nine themes than it is to go out and manage uh, 30 40 50 100 uh, different thoughts potentially in the space of just the number of number of minutes so we can go out and see I'm, I might only need to deal with one category with one radio station, one broadcast, and, and that, that's important to work on. When we're able to identify that, where we want to take this uh, further, and, and this is where we're looking at diffusion, is what's the impact of these thoughts, so uh, of these radio stations. The, the impact generally is what are those things that, that clients have done to try and turn off the radio station. And often we might hear things like, I go out and I drink some alcohol, I might gamble, I might go out and, and clean excessively, I might go out and, and study excessively, I might go out and, and, and fight, and so on and so forth. There's lots of different ways that, that people go out in an attempt to try and turn this off. What Diffusion is actually talking about and trying to, trying to uh, uh, give a message of is that the radio station does not stop it doesn't turn off and in actual fact that most of the time it's quite it's quite futile to try and try and stop these these thoughts uh, these radio stations because they are generally things that are important to us there's a value that's underpinned in all of this and it might be uh, fraud might actually be i want to be connected that might be the value behind that so it's not going to turn off the fraud station is not going to turn off I'm not good enough might be about uh, being close with uh, a parent, for example, and, and that's unlikely to just turn off either. Uh, I can't cope might be about I want to do a, a really good job as being a parent. I want, I want to give my children the best and I can't cope shows up. So there, there's a strong value that underpins a lot of these. And that's why we don't expect that they're just going to turn off and that's why we therefore don't try and get rid of them we don't try and and turn down the radio you know what are the things you've tried to do to, to turn the volume down or to grab the radio and break it and so usually there is respite from things from things like drinking alcohol but then we, we tend to find that a new radio station appears the next morning or potentially even that that evening which says 94.1 guilt 94.1 guilt now that that's a really powerful one 94.1 regret 
that's something that we don't want to go out and, and uh, reinforce and so on. And in actual fact, what, what's occurring is we're trying to get rid of one, which we do. Let's say, for example, life's not fair. We try and get rid of that and we do that for a short period of time, but then we introduce another one, which will be guilt um, or regret. So check in with yourself. Do consider what are the radio stations that you're hearing. Understand that we can't just turn them off. Uh, we, we can hold them a little bit more lightly. We use a category to diffuse from, a station to, do, to diffuse from, rather than individual thoughts. And by naming it a radio station, that's part of the diffusion. So good luck with that and enjoy and, and introduce that with your clients. I'm sure they'll find it very useful also. See you next time. 